Hey everybody, it's Zach out here at Cars and Coffee again. There's no set theme today, so we're gonna go see what we've got. So far in the back lot, we've got a few German cars. We've got a lot of American muscle. Oh, here's something that's grabbing a lot of attention. This is Viper GTS. I haven't seen one of these in person. So with all the cougars we saw last week, I don't think this Eliminator was here. They must not have known about the meat. That just sounds so good. I think I've seen this Miata here before. It looks really good. I love the color. Um, Mariner blue, I think, is the color on these. This one's got some wider tires for a little more grip, roll bar, probably some stuff going on under the hood. I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Gingium's Miata. He's a gaming YouTuber, if you like, Forza Motorsport, racing videos, that kind of thing. Go check him out, he's pretty good. Now here's another one drawing a lot of attention, this Challenger Hellcat in Plum Crazy. I love the color. Check this out. They've got a hollow headlight so the air can get in easier. This week the motorcycles have been relegated to the alleyway in between parking lots. That's okay. They fit in nicely here. They look really good. But what the hell is that? This is full out racing trophy truck. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but this is a truck not to mess with. Wow, this is crazy, huh? <laughs> Wait, that's a kid seat in the back, isn't it? Yes, it is. We were admiring the best <laughs> the Sparko one. That's right. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> Get that lumbar support, you need that in your car, right? <laughs> wow, this thing is over the top. <laughs> oh, that's a little built. So I always loved the Viper as a kid. Maybe it's a Gran Turismo 3A spec that really did it for me, playing that on my brother's PlayStation. And I love these so much. My friend in junior high said I freak out over Vipers because they brought one to the school once. True story, I did freak out. Now I've learned to contain myself a little better, but I still love them just as much. Oh, the yeah, is this yours? Yeah. No, I'm just going to the hood up. <laughs> oh, that big, beautiful V10. Not stock at all. Not stock at all, okay. You see these Vipers, Sean, the size of this. Is it making more power now? Huh? Is it making more power oh, yeah. over stock? V10. 650, that's enough to have some fun with. Well, 400 was too, but. Yeah! <laughs> Now you can actually use it on the highway. <laughs> More fun and I get better <laughs> See, I love seeing cars that actually get driven. Oh, son of a... That's a 918. <laughs> I didn't even know that was here. Yeah, I drive it. I don't drive a lot, but I drive it. It's like I, I, I came here just for a little while because I got to run some errands this morning. I use this on my errands. Home Depot, that kind of shit. Yeah, but I, I, throw the groceries in the passenger oh, seat. I've done it all the time. I mean, I do it. It's just I don't... Because, because, but push the pedal down. It's okay. You're not gonna hurt it. <laughs> yeah, that's a cop right there. You love it. <laughs> that's a cop right there. I tell you what, that 918 is faster than the cop for sure. Yeah, not faster than the radio. 
Here's an oddball 325. Oddball for here in the US because it's right hand drive. I wonder why that is. But it looks super clean, no doubt. This red NSX is pulling out right now. There was a yellow NSX that I saw pulling out as I was pulling in. So even if you come here at 845, you're gonna miss something. Shelby GT350. That's something you don't see every day. Let's see, SRT10? Yeah, SRT10. Oh man, the Shelby right here. I love the Cobra so much. That's a beautiful 300 SL, by far my favorite Mercedes. Apart from the Uhlenhout Coupe, but I'll never have that car. I love your car well, thank you. before you leave. Thank you. I gotta know, is it real or is it a replica? I call it a component. A component? It's a replica. It's a replica, okay. Still beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you for bringing it out, have a good day. Out here with Perry's Porsche 356. Always looking good. I just spoke to Perry. Good man. Here's some Concorde material that didn't quite make it out to Pebble Beach this weekend. God, look at these cars. They're immaculate. There's so many classics out here today. It's really a lovely sight to see. This convertible E-Type is so straight, so nice. We've got a classic Chevy right next to it. I did just notice that it's got a little modern touch. This is a Porsche I've never seen before. It's badged as the Gimbala GTR. By Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pupper. I'm a friend of Pupper's. <laughs> hey, what was that all about? That's, you, you don't have to protect the car, it's okay. <laughs> she probably just smells my dog. No, I mean, she saw you coming and went right at you. That was, that was really strange. That's weird. Maybe you're a, a werewolf or something, you don't know it. Oh, that could be. What is it? Explain all the hair. <laughs> You'd be nice. Anyway, back to the, the Porsche. I mean... I'm just looking at this Porsche here. I've never seen something like this. The Gimbala GTR? No, it's one of a kind. One of a kind? Yeah, it's one of a kind. I mean, really? Gimbalas. There are other Gimbalas, but, but not like this. If you Google it, you'll see a few around the world, but there. But it's, it's a, it's, this is a one of a kind. This okay. is a hand-built hand -built, uh, GTR race car. So it's exactly the same as the, as the, as the cars that you'll see racing at the, at the Formula One Grand Prix. So what makes this one different? Everything. It's Everything. Ground up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, obviously the bi turbo badge, so it's twin turboed. Um, got the that massive intercooler under the the deck lid there. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it makes it's gobs the, of power. Yeah, it's about 700 horsepower. But it's the 700 it's the, horsepower. It's the uh, wow. It's the, it's the, so somebody it built an engine so good, they said. We need to build a body around it. Right, basically. <laughs> I mean, I think the idea was always there, you know. Yeah. This thing is cool. Yeah, I've never seen this here before. I'm not sure if I'm more interested in the... the what is car that? Or the bike. The, that's a Ford, right? Uh, 
<laughs> it's a Harley Davidson, okay. Because it's got the sticker on it. I hope they've got a V twin in there, that'd be cool. <laughs> Harley Hauler. I love it. It's a lot of engine. 100 cubes. <laughs> and that's why you had to put it in the van, right? It went sideways real fast. It's kind of oil You won't be able to turn into it, right? Do you want us to push? <laughs> if we pick it up and slam it up and down a couple of times, it'll start. <laughs> Beautiful car. I love, I love, always love the Supers, man. How long have you had it? I've had it four years. Oh, awesome. That's, that's even better. Did you hear that? Oh, you got that on? Yeah, that Daily on? Driver it used to be his dad. It was in his dad. For how many years did you say? 20? 1969. Gee, that's freaking great. <laughs> He'll never get rid of it. You go back down to your kids after you. I don't have any kids. Well, you better get some. <laughs> wait, can I wait? I'm sure I, there's lots of I'm volunteers a, around I'm adoptable. here. I'm adoptable. I'm <laughs> adoptable. Actually, I know the guy, the son of the original owner. I found the guy online. He sent me the original invoice. No way. How the hell did he steal all that for 40 years? <laughs> oh. He wrote home from the hospital. No shit. That's a great story. <laughs> See, that's that's like magazine story type, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. You need to document all that before you like die. Whoa! You you in there? <laughs> oh yeah, I'll cut that out. No, you shouldn't. That's part of a good story, right? You need to get all that documented. Get everything down. You too. Thanks, drive, Perry. Drive See ya. Safe. That thing's great. So now I'm confused. I thought it was a 356, but the badges are 1600 Super. Are yeah. they the same thing? No, I was or am I wrong? No, and it is... they're not the same thing. They're not the same thing, no, okay. No, they're definitely not. They're close. I think they're in the same family, but not the same thing. Oh, uh, well, I probably insulted him earlier when I said, oh, oh yeah, you got the white 356, 356 right? He said, what did he say? He said, thank oh, you. Oh. <laughs> he just didn't want to be confrontational. <laughs> but I don't yeah. think it's the same thing. No, it's just like saying that, oh, that this is a Carrera. That's a Carrera GT. Yeah, badass, man. Jeez, I haven't. I'm out of here. Have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Oh, jeez. So many cars I've never seen before here today. Goes the Noble M600. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. What am I looking at here? Okay. So it's a whole fiberglass body then? Uh huh. They sold them as complete cars or in kit form. Any stage of development you wanted. So you could put whatever engine in it that you wanted. Uh huh. What's this got in it? This got a '55 Chevy. '55 Chevy. Uh -huh. In '52, okay. you would have been using a flathead, probably. Okay. But by '55, the '55 Chevy came out. The D2. D2. Uh, okay. This is the D2 RS. D2 RS. Okay. Now is this the one that uh, I've seen photos of it online? So this is the one that went up Pikes Peak, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we got first in class in 2015 and second in class in 2016. That's some pretty good rankings right there. <laughs> this is just the coolest Roadrunner I've ever seen. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Beautiful car, thank you. There's so many cars here that I love today. It almost brings a tear to my eye. I can't, I can't decide right now which one is my favorite, but this Roadrunner is definitely really high up there. Thank you, Stan. Beautiful car. <laughs> While I was away, another Viper showed up. Ooh, beautiful R8. I don't think this is the V10. I think they're a little more aggressively styled. Yeah, okay, this is a V8. Lovely gated transmission in there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Check out this Corvette Stingray with the T-tops. Ooh, Mach 1 Mustang. This is your 68? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So I've been trying to do a little bit of research about the, the ice cube tray hoods. Is that just on all the SS's of 68 and 69? Yep. Okay. The 67 SS has a vented hood. It's yeah. They're exactly the same spot. It's exactly the same hood. But the, instead of like you call ice, the ice cubes, it's just like a grill or a vent. Okay, but louvers they're, they're or something. completely cosmetic. There's no function to them at all. What's your name? David. Good to meet you, David. I'm Zach. And what's the engine that it's got in it now? 350. Just a, a crate 350? No, it's, it's the stock 350. Okay. Yeah, nothing special. It just got dynoed um, and tuned, so it's about 300 at the rear wheels. Good. So it's a little better than, than original, where it would have been. So I think it's like 295 at the crank, and then so you, by the time it gets to the rear wheels, it ends up being like you know 250, 240. Is this really the Hellcat that just got given away by Speed Society? I didn't know that guy lived in Oregon. Oh man, I sent in like a hundred entries for this thing. That's amazing. I'd really like to find the owner and uh, ask him about it. <laughs> but I don't think he's around here right now. 1,000 horsepower. Yeah, I know those goons at Speed Society were thinking about putting nitrous on it too. They're insane. I didn't realize what I was looking at until they turned their backs to me, but we've got two Sierra Cosworths right up there. That's incredible. I've never seen those in person. Probably why I ignored them at first. That was all the rubber on the back from you? That is incredible. Oh. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> oh. So that's Chris's car. I just talked to Chris. Yeah, he did win the, the giveaway. Uh, apparently the first guy who won the giveaway passed on the Hellcat and took 50,000 cash. They put it back into the pool and then he won it. So it's a really sweet car. I think I'll uh, stay in touch with him. All right, so now it's back to the Audi with me. Uh, this is seriously the last car in this lot. You know, you saw when we arrived, it was full. So this is the latest I've ever stayed, but there are just so many cool cars today. Oh, I'm like almost in tears from how awesome this day was. So, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I came. So I'll be back 
Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for the views, the likes, the comments, the shares. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. There will be more. Thank you. Bye. So I finally got my ass out of bed early enough to come to Cars and Coffee. Uh, XG750 Harley Davidson Street. Okay. Dude, are you filming? Yeah. Is that cool? Hey, what's up? I'm Logan. So I have the same sidecar that I'm putting on a bike right now, an Italian bike. But uh, this is actually the newest in your old. You know the story of these? I have no idea. I'm not a motorcycle guy. I'm sorry. I'll tell you the story. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, lay it on me.